Welcome to the Peters Podcast, where today we will be talking about the Arnold Strongman Classic UK 2022, um, and just what I think of it. Um, honestly, um, I'm not a huge fan of the Arnold, you know, the world of, uh, you know, what goes on there, the Arnold Sports Festivals. I'm not a huge fan of it. Um, but I do think that good, uh, good athletes come from there. Um, getting right into it, event one was, uh, for, was a deadlift for repetitions, uh, for, with 370 kilograms or 815 pounds. Um, apparently, um, So I will go over just the winner, um, but I do want to say that uh, Zudrunas Saviskas was apparently a part of this. Um, Didn't do very well in this event, Um, but fuck it, we'll do the top three, why not? And maybe Pao Pao Diary and uh, Gavin Bilton, um, because they uh, tied at fourth place with four reps um, with three other with another person Kim Ojark just just for this just for this event will I uh, be talking about this so uh, Rano Hinella Hinella if you'll excuse me I'm just gonna look up who that is uh Estonian. He is an Estonian professional strongman competitor. Uh, he's come first place in uh, Savisksis Classic, Estonia Classic. Uh, twice in Savisksis Classic, apparently. Um, first place in South Africa, South America. Uh, first place in 2018's Australia, and, oh, he's in the Masters division, oh, he's 40, uh, I'm very new to Strongman, as you can tell, I don't know everyone, but, yeah, apparently he did really well with about eight reps, um, just lifting the living crap out of that. Um, and then we got Mitchell Hooper with six, uh, Alexei Novikov with five. Um, bag over bar, so toss toss these big weights around. Um, five bags with weight of 20 kilograms or 44 pounds to about 28 kilograms with 61.7 pounds. Uh, the height of the bar is up to, up to four meters or 13 feet. So you gotta basically grab the bag, toss it up in the air. Hopefully it doesn't hit you in the head on the way down. And Gavin Bilton won this event with five of all five bags in 17.21 seconds. Uh, Mitchell Hooper did five with 18 seconds, 18.15 seconds, and Alexei Novikov did five as well for eight point. 18.35 seconds to come third. Uh, the event three was the uh, Arnold Stone carry, which, um, God, this one's awkward. So uh, one stone weighs about uh, 136 kilo or 300 pounds, and the other one weighs 164 kilo or 360 1.5 pounds <clears throat> and you need to uh, get to a distance of 15 meters or 49 feet um, yeah these are the most awkward uh, they're they're similar to uh, yeah they're they're really similar to the legendary Dinny stones um, where it's two stones that are very uneven but very heavy um 
So uh, Mitchell Hooper is the only one who did it with 34 seconds, uh, but Zudrinus Zaviskas went from losing completely to coming in second with 14.14 meter. And uh, Zake, Zake Maluzi, Maluzi? If you'll excuse me, I have to look this up again. Um, Malawian, Malawian, Malawian. I don't know how to pronounce that. I want, I want him. I want this guy, because he's a Malawian monster. I want him to tell me. I want him to tell me how to say this because <coughs> his credentials are like there's not a lot here, but it looks like he he could he could bring some you know pretty big storm up in here up in here. Um, anyways, he came, uh, he came and did 10.77 meters, and, um, that's huge, because some of these guys are, like, 6 foot 8, and he was only 6 foot 3, so, good for him. Um, oh, there's a, there's a picture of Mitchell just giving her. Uh, the fourth event would be the Super York Yoke, so it's, uh, it's this big, um, it looks like a rack for uh, like a squat rack, but it's not. Uh, put it onto your shoulders, pick it up, and you walk. And this one weighs 500 kilograms or 1,102 uh, 1, pounds. So you're not just walking with, or it's not like the world record for, um, it's not like the world record for deadlift. Um, taking a yoke takes all of the body so it's a lot easier however it's still 1,000 pounds so this still sucks um, the super yoke uh, every everybody but Kim Yojark uh, which came fourth in the first event um, they all everybody did it uh, however Mitchell Hooper ca uh, came first with 5.7 seconds uh, Alexei Novikov with 8.42 seconds, and Paul Smith with 11.09. And I know who Paul Smith is. I've got him in Instagram. I heard about him from the Big Uncle Laws. Um, he uh, he is um, best way to describe him is a English strongman who I think is absolutely um, tearing up the English scene. Uh, in a very in incremental ways, he he doesn't he doesn't uh, get in, he's not the kind of get in your face like um, like Eddie is, but I, I think he could be uh, a champion one day, uh, whether that's just in England or uh, in in the World's Strongest Man or in Arnold Arnold Classic, he he's gonna win a, a big title, uh, I think. Um, just like uh, Uncle Oz did, um, because they, they, they show the same kind of uh, energy with it. Maybe things will change. Um, so this, the, uh, I'm using Fitness Bolt, by the way, and uh, with the fifth, fifth event, which is the Dumbbell Press, I actually had to read um, the thing, because um, I couldn't find out who won. Uh, so uh, Dumbbell weighed at 100 kilograms or 200 220 pounds with the time limit of 75 seconds to basically pick it up over and up and I've, I've done a video on doing that and then I got in shape by the gym owner because he's just like what are you doing I'm like I don't know I'm bell pressing he's like don't do that not on my floor so I'm like all right Jesus but I like him so I said yes so um and this is what I'm actually talking about because yes, Alexei Novikov, uh, the 2020 World Strongest Man, uh, got eight reps, and the Canadian rookie, Minja Hooper, got seven. Paul Smith also had seven, so he there there was a tie for second. Um, 
honestly, if uh, if me and Mitchell weren't born in the same country, I'd probably be, be cheering for Paul. Uh, Atlas Stones. <laughs> um, so the Atlas Stones are big five. Big five fucking cement medicine balls. Um, they're probably actually made out of like a stone or something. I don't know. But they weigh about... They're, they're, they're round. Um, 120 kilograms or 264 pounds to start. And then it goes all the way up to 200 kilograms for 440 pounds. Um, and there's five of them. So it doesn't just like, oh, you got these two. No, it's there's five different... Um, five different like 120 kilos to start and then it goes up and then goes up and then goes up all the way to 200 pounds and you have to literally lift it and put it on a pedestal or a platform um lewis jack who i'm going to look up because i haven't heard that name before we're both learning something new today Uh, Lewis Jack, Lewis Jack, Lewis Jack, Lewis Jack. Yeah. The Strongman Archives. Oh, he's from the United Kingdom. Uh, doesn't give me too, too much about him, but he's been around since t uh, 2020. He is a United Kingdom. Um, competitor and he's had one two three four five competitions in which that he comp completed one two of them the other three he, um, he stopped at the beginning in two and damn near the end at one yeah gotta hate being sick if you watch this, or watch my last, number 14, you'll see that I'm, I was sick. Okay, and then, uh, luckily they have it in fucking order this time. Uh, so, he, uh, Lewis Jack did five and, f all five stones in 23.91 seconds. But Konstantin Janash, who is the Georgian Bull, did five in 23.91 seconds so somehow somehow they have a tie um uh, for first uh Mitch hooper did five in 25.74 seconds so he solidifies a third place standings um oh fucking So, <coughs> the results are, and if you've been noticing that I've been saying Mitchell Hooper a lot, it's because Mitchell Hooper won with 79.5 points, Alexei Novikov with 71 points, Rano Haina Hania with 61.5, Pod Odari and fourth place with 55 points he is our irish competitor and gavin bilton with 47 points for fifth and in i'm going to give i'm going to say for uh two more after this um paul smith sixth place that's amazing for him and konstantin janash i think what i'm when i heard before that he was getting back into it, so good for him for getting seventh with 43 points. Uh, and we'll fucking count it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And in tenth, which is less than half, um, 33.5 points for Zydrus Viscus. So. That is um, essentially the uh, standings there is Mitchell Hooper f first, Alexei Novikov second, and Rano Haina 
I don't know. I don't know if I'm pronouncing any of it right, um, but good for him for getting third. I, I love that um, more people are um, competing. Um, I, I think uh, they all. From what, what I'm from what I'm reading is um, they're uh, they're doing really really well. Mitchell Hooper, um, I will say, um, actually, well, let's go from the bottom to the top. Uh, Rihanna Heinla um, is an old guy, so good for him for competing and showing that old guy still still got it. Um, Alexei Novikov, um, uh, I've I've been compared compared to him in terms of like, yeah, I'm not like six foot six giant monster like uh, every other strongman and I'm more close closer to Alexei Novikov's height not necessarily weight I'm still getting to the to the weight direction uh, but you know uh, I, I can only eat so much at a time um, so uh, like uh, like like I was saying you know good for him he, ever since um, uh, 2020 and 2022, he's been showing that he can get uh, first, second, and thirds. Uh, I don't know what's going on with uh, 2021, though. I think what happened was he... Um, if I can spell his fucking name right... Uh, yeah, 2020, 2020, he got, uh, first, uh, 2022, third, and World's Strongest Man, Arnold's Strongman, 2022, he got second, Europe's Strongest, second in 2021, second, or first in 2022, um, Strongman Classic came first in 2021 and in 2022, Podiums throughout, <coughs> <coughs> throughout the board with um, Ukraine's strongest. He's been getting first all the way up from 2016 to 2019, hitting uh, only second in 2020. Uh, World's Ultimate Strongman, he got first twice in a row with 2020 and 2021. Um, so, like, I'm not seeing, like, a lot of, um, like, I'm, I'm seeing that, like, he's not, like, in 2021, like, when he didn't qualify, I'm like, oh, he was just a flash in the pan, just like everybody else was talking about. However, he's been showing, um, I think it was after, what was it, Strongman, Strongman Classic? Yeah, it was after the strong strongman classic and uh, Europe's. It was the strongman classics, the world strong, uh, world ultimate strongman or was, um, where he. Um, where he changed my mind, like it was like. World's strongest man is just like, all right, you know, he showed up. That's cool. And then getting into the other events or the other um, competitions where it's just like, oh, no, no, he's, he's, he's serious. He's, he's deadly serious. Um, so I, I don't know. I'm, I'm surprised. I'm delightfully surprised. Uh, Mitchell Hooper. Um, I don't know much about Mitchell Hooper. Uh, I know that he trained with uh, uh, JF Caron, uh, who I wanted to train with, but at the time, or I wanted to, uh, him to be my coach, but um, I didn't have uh, 
the income at the time, so I'm sticking to I'm sticking to uh, being. Sorry, this isn't working. Um, I'm sticking with uh, being very much a uh, an amateur for now. Um, but Mitchell Hooper. So, like looking back at this year's um, World's Strongest Man. Yeah, Mitchell, Mitchell Hooper was uh, in Heat 2, and he was beating Brian Shaw, <coughs> Mark Felix, and Konstantin Janesh, who are huge guys. The only reason why Brian Shaw won is because of uh, a stone-off that um, had some tacky issues. The only reason why there was tacky issues is because it was hot as hell, and only one person decided to put the right tacky on. So, that's the thing. Uh, the Knack Giants uh, medley, uh, Mitchell Hooper won that event, came fourth and next event and let's just let's just get to the skip to the point um he came fifth no eighth in your rookie year your first ever coming into the world's strongest man you come eighth um, I'm sorry, but that's incredible. Um, I think next year he could be a huge amount of competition. I think all of these guys uh, who came in the top 10 are huge competition. I think there are some that uh, are going to be really pushing it for next year. Um I think Mark Felix needs to up his game, but that's just me. <coughs> but he just loves to compete. So my breakdown for this is that um, what I think they should do is go back to, with only the only complaint <coughs> as I think they should go back with deadlift is to have it so the way they can pick up heavier weights and then go up the weights as they go through. Because what they used to do was you were allowed to go up, uh, I think it was two, two kilos or five pounds every, um, every, every time you go up, if you want. Um, and that kind of sets the bar for the next person is okay now i either have to um lift the same or i have to up it so uh roll of the dice uh you, you put um the first person lifting i don't know 400 pounds 600 pounds let's say 600 um and then it goes up and up and up, and it's more entertaining, and it's fun. Um, but deadlift for reps. Um, when all of these guys, I know, I know for a friggin' fact <coughs> that all of these guys can lift more than once for 815 pounds, <coughs> and some of them only lift one, two, three. No, make them work for it. Make it a, make it a game of uh, of cat and mouse. Uh, the rest of the events I don't really have a problem with, except for um, no, I, I actually don't have a I don't have a problem with any. Uh, I mean, the stone carry is a rip off of the Denny's Denny stone, but the rip off is fine. You're doing great. I don't I don't mind that. Um, and I am a little, I'm going to be posting this a little bit late, but 
I just want to try this to see how it feels, and then we're going to talk about it, um, talk about more information. Maybe my, I, I might make my upload schedule a little bit different, and we'll see how that goes. Anyways, thank you for joining me today. Um, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I will talk to you guys in the next one. Okay, bye.